I will be attempting to go live at some point today, so be looking out for that. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. We have a pretty interesting week coming up, so you already know how we do it on Sunday. We give our uh, outlook update, macro update. Uh, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and go check out my video about Terra Luna Classic, right? If you if you will, if you think about buying Luna right now at the tops, man, go go check out the video. But again, let's let's talk about man. Let's talk about it. 135 days into the next Bitcoin halving cycle, and we're still seeing an uptick in interest with cryptocurrency, right? We're seeing an uptick here interest in cryptocurrency went down a little bit but it's good to see people are starting to come back to the space and we were able to hold above a 1.4 trillion dollar market cap closing in family on a 1.5 trillion dollar market cap so it's good to see some of these crypto projects finally come around i think um the big talk of this week has been terra luna classic um USTC as you can see um uh, pumping up 200% almost 200% on the month which is insane USTC and then we got AI as you see Tau um TIA's done pretty well up 252% Tau 286% already with the massive pump right Ordinals allowing Bitcoin to scale right we're seeing um BRC 20 narrative really really take off i think that's a very slept on narrative headed into the next cycle let me know in the comments if y'all want me to start pumping out some brc 20 um content or even drc 20 i've been looking at, at drc 20 um content doge tw up 25 percent on the month so for the month you know crypto has did uh done pretty well october and november has been um pretty bullish as people um, suspect it right a lot of people think oh october was going to be bearish october has been bullish november same thing bullish right now we're in december right we're into december right and you know i've been on record saying that you know q4 could be a little bit bearish and i was thinking the december right december tax harvesting going into the next year and um as, as people look to um reload right rejuvenate right kind of like look over their portfolios and be like okay do i need this do i need that let's consolidate headed into the next crypto bull cycle let me know in the comments what you have been doing with your portfolio but for the most part this is positive for cryptocurrency this is positive for new people are getting into cryptocurrency because I've, I've i've told you guys man it's important that you know we treat the new people correctly that hop into the market glad to see that the uptick in women right 47 percent when most of the bear market was just 20 percent women in crypto so we know just by the statistics that new people are entering the cryptocurrency space so that is something to look forward to and not to add we're seeing the stocks pump right coinbase has literally been going parabolic s p pumping dow nasdaq everything pumping and it just seems like we're getting the perfect crypto and stock and just asset uh, christmas for a lot of people who you know if you've been here for the last two to three years then you already know it's been it's been a struggle we've seen so much so it's good to see um cryptocurrency really really starting to perform and flex that hedge against inflation which is unfortunate that so many people still to this day are not in crypto do not know anything about crypto trust me i talk to people every day just regular people for us it just seems like everybody's in crypto because we do this every day but go just talk to the, the normal people, the masses. You will see for yourself there's so many people outside of the loop. And it just literally blows my mind, right? Blows my mind. You know, people get so involved in these holidays like Christmas, Black Friday. Yeah, that's that's designed for you to give back money to these entities. That's why they give you these fake discounts. And they say, oh, holiday season. They want you to, to spend money. But the true big brains, right, that understand that the... There's nothing that's going to fill that void in the financial market outside of ownership, financial sovereignty, and decentralization. So once you open up your mind and understand that aspect of how crypto just gives you an, an opp another opportunity, you know, and I was talking to a young cat, he's like 18, 17, he was like, man, Millie, I've been following your channel, and it's like, man, I, it's amazing, I'm like, look, bro, it's amazing that you 17 to 18, and you locked in, bro, if I knew what you knew at 17 and 18, I'd be a billionaire right now, right, so it's great to see the young crowd starting to lock in on digital assets and just ownership, right, ownership and tokenization, so right now, it's a good time to be into cryptocurrency uh, we do have a uh, pretty a pretty busy week so um we got a uh, uh, job but uh, jolt's job openings um coming out um what's this uh december 5th 
ISM Services PMI on December 5th, um, uh, non-payroll on 8th, um, unemployment, we get the unemployment rate again on December 8th, and the consumer sentiment also on um, December 8th. So as far as some of the macro things, these are the things to look forward to, um, seeing that we do have a few more days until the, uh, what's that, the uh, Fed, Fed us, give me, um, um, 10 days until the next FOMC meeting. So I would be a little bit cautious with these pump. You know, I don't really get into weekend pumps. I did a little a little bit of trading. If you're in the Discord, you know we did a little bit of trading. Just about some some crap coins, right? Some meme coins that, that I feel like I wanted to get in. You know, a little bit lower. So if you're into that type of stuff, join the Discord or just check out the links in the description. Patreon has grown. We, we recently, you know, crossed another milestone in the Patreon. So appreciate everybody that's been showing up. But we do have 10 days until the next FOMC meeting. So expect volatility up until this, right? Um, for the people that's been um, well, let me touch on this, right? Small coins, all coins. I touched on this in the last video. Uh, the the liquidity cycle within cryptocurrency, right? Right now we're seeing a lot of liquidity roll into blue chips and mid caps, right? Bitcoin, blue chip, Ethereum, mid caps, right? We're seeing mid caps literally go crazy. Anything between 100 million and 500 million uh, to a billion, literally been up 20, 30% in the last few days, right? So a lot of people have been a little bit afraid, like, oh man, my my, my micro caps are not pumping. Millie, should I sell my micro caps to make it? Oh, don't do that. What are you doing? Like, just respect the pump, man. Respect the liquidity cycles and how these things work in cryptocurrency. Once you understand the aspect, you, you don't get shut out you don't get you know uh knocked off your uh off your queue you kind of like execute your plan and trust me the liquidity will roll into our small caps and micro caps but you have to be patient because there's so many times you know how many times that i just was impatient and got out of a cryptocurrency and right when i got out it pumped that's usually how it happens right so you want to just you know be patient but also just have new money coming in because if you have new money coming in you're not too you're not feeling that selling pressure i say that all the time but it's really real all right so not going to um, expose anything about my portfolio in this video but there is some news on miria for the miria followers because i know i got a lot of people in the miria we do have a token unlock token unlock man so be aware we do have this unlock oh sorry what well, it already happened right november 27 I'm, I'm tripping i thought this was this week why do they have it on December 4th through December 10th, but the Miriam one already happened? So uh, the Miriam one ha already happened, but besides that, there are other uh, cryptocurrencies that do have to have unlocked. Man, I should have did a video on this November 27th, but it seems like we already we already, um, we already already escaped the Miriam unlock, did we? Um, what happened on um, in November? I'm sorry, I'm intrigued by that. I'm intrigued by that. My apologies. Let's go to Miriam, because I know Miriam has been doing... Um, it did... It did um, dump off a little bit. I would say correct a little bit, right? Let's go to the seventh day, oh, right around the, the 27th. Yeah, so yeah, that was the unlock right around here, and then it pumped up since the unlock. So it wasn't that bad. Unlock wasn't so bad. So you can see right here that when people put out the FUD on the unlocks, unlock wasn't that bad. All right, so let's get into, let's close out the video, get into the macro here. Um, of course, a lot of this stuff is closed on Sunday, but we're just giving you a weekly perspective. DXY still fall into the depths of hell we would love it to fall to this support at 99 if it continues to fall to 99 that will be bullish for the entire altcoin market and crypto market right we'll start to see some of our favorite altcoins um commence and continue their pumps same thing with the ust uh the tether dominance now we told you guys when the tether dominance cross uh below which is the 50 sma we usually get an altcoin season altcoin rally first then it pumps back up, and then we get the official altcoin season. So right now, we're in the midst of a rally. Usually lasts about 100 days where we see positive growth for altcoins. Um, after we, you know, usually historically, speaking on historically, right, usually once it pumps back up, scares the shit out of people. Or people think like, oh, man, it's right around the halving cycle. Oh, man, Bitcoin didn't pump. Tether dominance pumps up. As whales and smart money look to reload, going into the halving cycle, they'll put a lot of those profits they earn in the next 100 days into stable coins. And I expect stable the stable coin market to creep back up around here to the resistance. And once it creeps the resistance, it should scare enough people for us to get a nice little dip going into the halving cycle where we can start to reload our bag. So we'll look for this. Again, um, this is speaking from a historical standpoint. Last time um the the dxy oh, excuse me the tether dominance here creeped under the 50-day moving average 
uh, we had a nice little rally for about 150 days where you see multiple altcoins pump now. It's not meaning every altcoin, but you'll see altcoins pump up 200, 300%. You're like, damn, are we in an altcoin season? Not yet. We need the double bottom, right? So we need the double bottom here that could uh, potentially look something like this, right? Maybe we um, um, trade at this support of tether dominance down here until we uh, finish the pattern. All right, so let's reload this here. All right, so cool. And you can see that we are below the bull market band here. So what I want to do is I want to grab um, some writing material and just kind of like write it, write it, write it. And then we shoot up, right? Scare a lot of people up here and then maybe shoot back down, down here, going into the halving cycle. And we can see a real, the real altcoin season as we've seen from right here, right? Trade it. Uh, at the below the bull market band for about 100 days, we see some nice move from altcoins. Maybe at that 100 day, you say, hey, I'm going to take something off the table. Let the tether, do uh, tether dominance here go back up. People rush back into stables, scare a lot of people, and then dump back off right going into the halving cycle. Would love to see that happen. Would love to see that happen because what that does is it gives people, new people, a chance to get in, right? Where they're not just buying the tops. We don't, I don't want people to buy the tops. I want people to get in. That's why you follow my channel because we get in stuff early and we do not buy the tops, right? We don't buy the tops. We're not into that type of stuff. Um, Bitcoin on the weekly, still above the bull market band. Very, very bullish. You can see how it looks when we get above this bull market band right here and we actually can stay above it. This is extremely bullish and we start to see the parabolic move. We have not yet seen the parabolic move, but maybe, just maybe, family, maybe this is the start here of the parabolic move. Maybe that's the start. You know, that could possibly be the start of something special. I would say this could be the start of a parabolic move. Maybe the start, right? Um, because we know once we stay above this uh, bull market band and it's a lot of width between it, you know, things start to get a little bit crazy for Bitcoin. So if we can break, uh, what's this, uh, around 42, if we can break this little resistance here between 40, between 36 and what's this, 48, maybe we top out at 48, that would be huge for the market. Market looks bullish. Besides the stark RSI here being topped out, market looks bullish. I will tell you this. I will be looking to um I will be looking to buy altcoins if the Bitcoin dominance gets anywhere in this circle. Cause man, his history, right? History, whenever Bitcoin dominance gets around 60%, literally things go parabolic. All right. So I want to I wanted to kind of like drop that nugget for you. To, it's gonna look ugly on the altcoin end. Like, damn, altcoins is dumping. Bitcoin dominance is rising. But this is what you want. You want Bitcoin dominance to get in the 60s and still be rising. So when the dominance goes lower and the Bitcoin price continues to rise, that's when you see altcoins rally. All right, I'm dropping them nuggets for y'all, man. I'm dropping them nuggets. Uh, keep in mind here, we don't need to look, just look at this chart. Um, ETH, ETH is looking real, real good, right? Next target for ETH could be around 2,400 and three thousand, right eth is looking like it's ready to start its own parabolic run um we love to see eth above um the pi so pi top pi top pi cycle top indicator anything it's anytime it's in the indicator it's normally been bearish right but we've seen here that right now we're above the above the pi top um indicator which shows that we do have bullish momentum again overbought though on the weekly you will see the the reason why a lot of people still and even myself think that we could get a correction because we're still overbought on the weekly. Um, the ETH Bitcoin dominance looks very bullish, right? Looks very bullish, but it's still in the downtrend. So the regardless of what people want to talk about, this trend still is, you know, trend is your friend. To end. And unfortunately, this looks like to be putting in a lower high. And, you know, we would love to see a, a lower, a higher low from here. But technically, the ETH Bitcoin pair it's still bearish, unfortunately. So, you know, this is this is what keeps me in my mind kind of grounded and thinking like, okay, we still got time to load our bags before we see this this parabolic run. And taking a look at the three charts that we'd love to look at, right? Total altcoin market has total totally broke resistance here at about 1.3 trillion. So we're at 1.5. This is good. This is good, right? Because now we know normally, historically speaking, we trade sideways for about you know, 47 bars 
before we actually start to see the parabolic rise. So we usually trade sideways going into the halving, and then we see the parabolic rise, maybe a little dips. But the total market cap looks um, pretty good. But that has Bitcoin and Ethereum. This one has Bitcoin, Ethereum, and stables. And you can see also right here, I didn't put any resistance bars, but I mean, we're very close to breaking. We're, we're, we're sitting right here at the resistance, right? 443 billion. We're right there. If we could break this neckline here and then here, I mean, again, this could happen. This could take time to play out. This is weekly charts. We are overbought again, again. So keep in mind that it looks good, but we are overbought. And it doesn't mean that we're just going to instantly go down because this is the weekly charts. We can stay up here for a while. And if we stay up there for a while, we could see some massive moves to the upside, right? Until we see a net, net nice crash. And the same thing with the others chart. We'll do some charting on the others. This is a new chart that I'm looking at. Shout out to my boy, uh, FOMO Factory. Um, this is the this is the altcoin chart, not including stables or the top 10 dominant tokens. So I really, really, really want to start doing some chart and, charting on this chart and kind of like check out history and how this chart works. Let me know if you guys want to, want me to see me do some charting here. But we are... We broke this neckline. This resistance at 156. Uh, we have some here 234. So I wouldn't worry about nothing up here yet until we kind of like maybe put a handle. We're still overbought, but we could put like a handle here and, you know, maybe dip right down to support here at 125 and then go back up, which would look something like, you know, a handle. Always got to reload. Trading View. Y'all have website. Trading View and Coin Market Cap. Websites are absolutely shit bro oh my god and then it went back to the other oh my god i hate this man all right back to what i was doing okay all right so handle we want to see a little handle maybe the handle dip to the bull market band and then we want to see you know that thing go up so we want to see that that cup and handle um pattern right there but it's good to see that we are above the bull market band so keep an eye on everything in the macro check out the links the VIX is looking nice, man. Anything under the 14 for me is bullish for the entire market. And the VIX, man, the VIX, this right here is a key indicator that we could possibly be in, in a bullish environment, right? The VIX, this low, we could possibly be in a bullish environment. So keep this in mind. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the macro update. Comment, man. Comment y'all favorite strategies, your favorite altcoins, and I will do research on them. If it's a gem, like we've seen with, with some of the things I'll bring to the channel, I will do research. If not, I'll talk about it in the Patreon, so links will be in the description. Uh, macro environment is looking nice, but we are overbought on the weekly time frame for a lot of our favorite charts. We don't know how long we could, we will we will stick up there, right? Because just because we overbought, that doesn't technically mean we bearish. But we got we to gotta keep that in the back of our mind just to have that liquidity on the side, right? Stables, 10, 20% in stables to be prepared to inject it to new narrative, new cryptocurrencies, and then meme coin that will pump after the Alvin Cycle family because there will be a new meme coin that will go crazy and we're going to be here for it. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.